It's also the anterior facial compartment of the forearm. Pronator um, teres. Flexor carpi radialis. Palmaris longus. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Median nerve. This is uh, ulnar nerve, uh, and uh, lateral to it, uh, we have ulnar artery, um, and here, this is uh, radial artery, um, and So this is superficial branch of the uh, radial nerve. That uh, it is lateral to the radial artery. Uh, this is uh, flexor digitorum superficialis. Uh, behind that, we've got median nerve. Median nerve, and behind that, we've got. Um, flexor digitorum profundus. Uh, okay, that's it. This pronator arteries. Flexor carpi radialis. Flexor uh, digitorum superficialis. Median nerve. Flexor digitorum profundus. This is flexor carpi ulnaris, and this is flexor pollicis longus. And this is extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay, uh, some of the muscles of the anterior facial compartment. Uh, palmaris longus, palmar aponeurosis, Flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, median nerve, flexor pollicis is longus, to the distal uh, base of distal phalanx of the thumb. This is flexor digitorum superficialis. Behind that, this is median nerve. Behind that, this is flexor digitorum profundus. This is flexor pollicis longus. Uh, okay, so now uh, we're going to talk about uh, the uh, muscles of the uh, posterior facial compartment of the forearm. We're going to begin from uh, lateral to medial. This is brachioradialis to the base of styloid process of radius. Brachioradialis. This is extensor carpi radialis longus, base of second metacarpal bone. Uh, this is uh, extensor carpi radialis brevis. It has got a large belly and large tendon to the base of third metacarpal bone. Next, we have extensor digitorum. This is extensor digitorum. These are its uh, tendons. So this is a tendon of the uh, extensor digitorum that goes to the uh, index finger, but this is tendon of the uh, extensor indices that goes uh, to the uh, index finger. So uh, the one to the lateral is uh, tendon of the extensor digitorum, which is closer to the thumb. Uh, the one uh, to the medial 
uh, which is farther away from the thumb uh, is uh, tendon of the extensor indices. Uh, okay, and uh, of course, this is extensor carpi ulnaris, base of fifth metacarpal bone. Um, and uh, now, uh, yes, actually, we forgot one thing. Uh, this is uh, extensor digitalis minimi. Uh, tendon, of course, this tendon goes to the literal finger. Extensor digitalis minimi right side by side to the extensor distal and uh, the deep ones uh, we've got um, okay so uh, this is this uh, this is uh, abductor pollicis longus see this is its tendon this is tendon of the abductor pollicis longus um, to the base of um, uh, fi, uh, fi, first uh, metacarpal bone. Okay, and uh, next we've got extensor pollicis uh, brevis. So this is extensor pollicis uh, brevis. Uh, okay, it is from uh, radius. Uh, both of these are uh, from. Uh, this is actually from both radius and ulna. Anyways, this one is from radius. Um, and next, uh, we've got uh, extensor pollicis longus. Uh, this one is from uh, ulna. Okay, that's it. And um, of course, uh, we said that we also have extensor indices. Again, this is from ulna. And uh, its tendon is uh, medial to the tendon of the extensor distal. Okay, uh, and uh, we also have supinator. Um, so uh, actually, uh, this is supinator. Okay, so this is supinator, and uh, this is posterior uh, interosseous nerve. Um, so. It's good to look at the radial nerve. Uh, okay, so from here, uh, this is the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. Divides into two branches, this is the auxiliary nerve and uh, radial nerve. Uh, the radial nerve uh, divides into two branches, a uh, superficial branch of the radial nerve and the branch uh, of the radial nerve. The D branch then goes to the posterior uh, uh, compartment of the forearm to become the posterior interosseous nerve. Um, uh, okay, that's it. Thanks. Ah, yes. And uh, also, uh, this is... And uh, this is a cephalic vein, okay? A uh, cephalic vein is lateral, uh, you know, begins from the thumb, like this. This is a cephalic vein. Uh, okay. So uh, it is actually very close to the uh, superficial branch of the radial nerve. This superficial branch of the radial nerve, and this is cephalic vein. <laughs> now talking about the uh, branches of the brachial plexus. Uh, this is uh, lateral cord of the brachial plexus. Uh, this is uh, medial cord of the brachial plexus. Um, so this is a branch of the uh, lateral cord. This is a musculocutaneous nerve. Uh, this is, uh, we can uh, regard this as the uh, lateral root of the median nerve. And uh, the medial root of the median nerve, they unite to, the, to form the median nerve. Uh, then... Uh, branches of the medial uh, cord, we've got uh, ulnar, so like this, uh, this is uh, ulnar nerve, see, uh, it goes behind the medial epicondyle. And this is another branch of the medial cord of the brachial plexus, it is called the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, it supplies the skin over the medial part of the forearm. Okay, uh, and uh, from the posterior cord, 
so this is a posterior cord of the brachial plexus it divides into two branches uh, this is uh, axillary nerve uh, okay and uh, this is uh, radial nerve uh, this is uh, axillary artery uh, and this is uh, brachial artery the continuation uh, and uh, this is poster uh, this is uh, posterior and anterior circumflex femoral arteries this is uh, teres major um,